Hey guys, it's Vlogmas Day 12. I just got home and I'm about to take my dog out for a walk and she's going insane. Well, that was a really nice walk. We were out longer than usual. I'm almost like a little winded. We were walking really fast. Um, just because the weather's really nice, so it's like, why not stay out a little longer? Um, so anyway, she's asking for her treat now, so that needs to happen. Almost out of these treats. She loves them so much. Okay, sit. Okay, you can just have it. <laughs> this was also exciting. I got a big old issue of InStyle magazine. The September issue. I'm trying to like turn it so you can see how thick the spine is. I gotta love my September issues. And I got my Ipsy bag for this month. Oh yay! That'll be fun to open. Okay, let's see what's inside. This is the August. So as usual, it comes with one free makeup pouch. This one's cute. I love the hounds too. Ooh, and it's like all, it's a very cool texture. Wow, I like it. I like that it's plasticky. It's about the same size as they always are. Well, let's see, we've got a card here. Usually it just talks about how to win a, um, win a giveaway thing. And then let me just see if there's anything else in the bubble wrapper before I go on. Okay, there's nothing else in the wrapping. Every once in a while, if it's an oversized item, like I got a, a full-size makeup brush one time, and it was in the large wrapper, but it wasn't in the little makeup bag. So I can get this open one-handed. What do we have here? I love opening these. It's really the best part. Okay, eek. This looks like one of those squeezy pouches that you eat, but I don't think it is. Eco Beauty by La Fresh Group. Good night, night cream. Super hydration, smoother and plumper looking skin. That's a lot. Oh, so maybe you can seal it at the top and use it more than once. Because that's way too much for just one night. That's awesome though. It says, bye bye damaging, el oh, sorry. Bye bye damaging elements that age my skin every minute. Hello, recovered, recharged, youthful looking me. Hmm. Okay. Very cool. Yay. I'll try that. Next. This looks like a perfume. It says, Won't you come into the garden? I would like my roses to see you. By Richard... Sorry, it's so tiny. Richard Brinsley Sheridan. Noya. Oh, oh, it's in lipstick. No, I don't know if it's Noya or Noya. All natural lipstick in Desert Rose. Hmm. Ah, supposed to be all natural. And they have a coupon. Let's see what it looks like. It's a little packaging. I'm going to open it up. Okay, well, it looks like the top got a little bit messed up. It must have somehow been twisted up inside the tube because you can see where it hit the top of the cap there. That's okay. So let me, oh, how am I going to do this one-handed? I will swatch it, and then I will show you. <laughs> okay, that color is really pretty. I feel like this lighting is not doing it justice. It's a little bit more of a light, almost like a has a little bit more yellow than blue. It's looking awfully blue, but it's probably my skin tone that's doing that right now. It's really pretty, and it is nice and creamy, like they said. Okay, next. We have Doll 10. I think they gave me one of these before. Um, this is the Hydrogel Cream Blush in Flirt. The other doll product, I think, was a highlight, if I'm not mistaken. And it's pretty nice. I used it a few times. Ugh, I'm gonna need my hands again. Okay, so this is the blush. Really pretty color. Looks like more of a coral pink to me. I love it. That's really pretty. Let's see how it looks on. Okay, here it is uh, to the right. They're on and kind of blended out a little bit. It looks like it could almost be a little bit orange for me, but it's really impossible to tell from my hand. My hand does not look like the rest of my face. I don't have giant blue veins running around my face, so. I think it's really pretty though. Uh, I like the formula, and I really don't have a lot of cream blushes at all. Okay, next. Let's see. There's definitely still more in here. 
That's already one, two, three products. This is number four. This is Lord and Barry. I've never heard of this. Oh, it's a nude lip liner. Sorry about the focus. I just washed my hands. They're a little damp. I was trying to get the, the swatches off. Uh, this is interesting. Let me take the lid off. Okay, I just swatched it. That looks um, more brown than nude to me. Or at least not nude with my complexion. So that's interesting. Quite brown. I'm not sure how much use I would get out of it. I could almost use it like as an eyebrow pencil, but it might be a little too thick or creamy for that. Not sure. I've never heard of this brand either. Lord and Barry. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so that's four things. There's here's a fifth thing. This is Albertini International Divine Skin Hydrator in Shower Body Moisturizer. Oh, fun! I've always wanted to try one of these, like an in-shower body lotion. I always felt like it was a little bit, I don't know, like a fad product or that it would be a waste of money or something. Um, so I never really did it, although I have to say the Lush, I think it's called Rose Argan Body Conditioner, smells amazing. And that's probably what I would get if I were going to get one. But anyway, this is great because I can try it and see if it works. So it says, help rep helps replenish your skin's natural moisture factor. Yeah, so you do it um, in the shower. And yeah. All right. We'll see. Gonna go. I was going to give it a smell, but it's got a, one of those silver um, seals on the inside lid. So that's nice. I know it's fresh, but I can't smell it right now. That's fine. It may not have much of a scent, and that's fine too. Is that everything? I think it is. So that's five um, decent products. I'm pretty pleased with my Ipsy bag this month. Oh, it is most definitely nap time. Even the pup knows it. Oh, this is the creepiest lighting ever. <laughs> you were able to see me thanks to the glow from my iPad. Um... <laughs> Oh, and there she is. There's the dog. Can you see her? You probably can't even see her. Oh, goodness. Um, well, I took a three-hour nap. That was not planned, but it was awesome. I mean, it was planned to take a nap, but I didn't expect to be out for three hours. But I guess I needed it, so that's fine. I'll take it. Um... Yeah, I woke up to an email from my mom. She sent this photo of this ridiculously huge plant in their yard, and she can't figure out what it is or how it got there. And the thing is, like, taller than a person. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll show you guys. Hold on. Do you have any idea what this thing is? To me, it looks like a severely overgrown, like, um, uh, what's it, like a pumpkin plant without any pumpkins? And they usually don't go tall, they go to the side, but the huge, huge leaves are very strange. So, uh, <laughs> no idea what that is. Well, someone has been very patient while I napped and hasn't even tried to wake me up to go outside. Oh, I said the word. I said the word. You want to go outside? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so today's makeup is this Estee Lauder eyeshadow in sepia sand. This is this one in the corner here, which is a really, really pretty shimmery brown, um, which I always find that Brown is the best shade, or one of the best, for making blue eyes pop, which is what I have. Um, and then I have this Nest perfume in Midnight Fleur, which I really like. It's very different. It's kind of dark. It's kind of spicy to me. I really enjoy it, but it's not too heavy for summertime either. It's really nice. Um, and then the star, I think, of today's makeup is this Perfect Lip Perfection Gel in Melrose. Um, it's very nude. You can see it there in the tip. That's the color. It's a nude color, um, which for me just serves to kind of neutralize the redness in my lips and makes them just more of like a pale peachy color. Um, but what's amazing about it is the formula. 
I wish these weren't so expensive. I think they're like $25 a tube because they are so amazing. I haven't found anything like them. I got a sample of it from Sephora and I just like immediately put it on my wish list and um, it was a while before I bought it, but I do not regret getting it. It is like, it's, it's good. It's like a gel ish. It's like a very lightweight gel. It's not like a gloss. It's not sticky at all. Like there is no stickiness to it. Cause it's not like a gloss. It's more of like a sheen or a shine, almost like putting like a, an oil on your lips, but not greasy like an oil. It's so hard to explain. Also, it has a bit of a like a spearmint um, scent or taste to it, which is nice, but not in a tingly, plumpy way, which I don't mind, but a lot of people don't like that. For example, like about the buxom lip glosses that they, they tingle and plump your lips. So this is just, it's so perfect. Ah, it's a perfect name. I may get it in another shade. That's how much I like it. And I do not need lipstick, so that tells you something. Um, and then lastly, I'll just show you what I used this morning. Um, this was you know, right out of my shower. I put on this body butter. This is the Cranberry, was it, is it Cranberry Joy? And these little ones, they're not putting the name on the side. Um, the Body Shop comes out with a holiday, like three holiday scents every year, and this was their Cranberry one. They always have, I, th I think it's called Frosted Cranberry, if that sounds right. They always have a Cranberry related one. It just has a different name. And it's like a very tart, um, fresh scent. You know, cranberries don't, to me, they don't really actually have much of a smell, but the cranberry, maybe it smells more like cranberry juice. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it was really nice. I used that this morning. I don't know what the name is. It's like not on here. Okay, it's on the back. It is called Frosted Cranberry. It also says that it's unfit for consumption, just in case you were planning on eating it. <laughs> Anyway, that's what I, uh, that's what I wore today. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night. I hope you enjoyed your Wednesday, and I'll see you tomorrow.